Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, so I tip the scales for another game of FTL, Faster Than Light. Um, with me, I have two special guests. Yeah, yes, me, Biohazard063, and that rhymes, which is awesome. Yay, and? Panicky Rocks. Yay, alright, the ship we'll be flying today is the Gavel by Biohazard. You know, I should yes. just, it, it's, <clears throat> the Zolt, replaces the Zoltan A. This Sultan Lawbringer relies on the latest beam technology to destroy his enemies and relies on drone tech to keep his impenetrable shield up. So it sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Wait, what did I get myself into? <laughs> right, so it's got a Zoltan shield, reverse ion field. Hey, they rhyme. <laughs> I'm rhyming on <laughs> a dime. Okay, it's got, it's got these shield drones and the adaptive focus beam Mark III. It adjusts its beam patterns to um, enemy shields and it does one damage each time, it fires up to a maximum of four. So for the yep. first... So you got a souped up, uh... Yep. Souped up glaive beam once you get it that far. Right, so the first shot's not gonna work very well, second shot will. Third shot... Yep. So first shot is not good, second shot's halberd, third shot's glaive. And fourth shot is just ludicrous. <laughs> so if anything survives, so if you, as long as your weapons don't get destroyed, it should be fine. Oh, and I like how the Which is why I just... Yeah, it's just, I got Zoltan shield and the two shield drones. Yeah, and also um, two Zoltan, who are not actually in piloting, which is good. That's I fun. know. Which is, that should be good. I mean, what's going on here? <laughs> um, you want to play Kid well, Rocks? <laughs> you want Kid Rocks? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you know, banter I'm is just like, I'm more of a silent person. Not on the co not on the not while we're doing co -cop commanders. <laughs> anyway, let's you can like... help them make stupid decisions. <laughs> oh come on, we're not bringing up, we're not bringing up, we're not bringing up Ackerman again, are we? <laughs> yes, we Ackerman are. plus limo. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's see how the ship goes. It wasn't goes. my fault. It wasn't your fault. It was Ackerman's fault. Yep, definitely <laughs> Ackerman's fault. Oh, that's right. The he beam killed is. himself. <laughs> And now I just saw the beam is actually quite slow, is, um, quite slow charging. Yeah. Yep, and I'm disappointed the shield drone already. But, you know, you know me and my beam skills, I can hit three, three rooms at the same time. Indeed you can. And oxygen just got hit. Great, nice. Oh. Well, that's why you gotta oh, get those I can shield do guns up. with these people. Or I can, I can accept their offer. And I can probably get a potential reward from, um... Yeah, I can probably get a potential reward. Although, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have gotten the scrap. <laughs> well, I believe the Cap's edition, the rewards you get for Zoltan Diplomacy are the same as blowing the ship up. Oh. oh. I think you get medium rewards. Oh, okay, so I've been doing... Uh, that. Okay, I never knew that. That's, yeah, usually um, it's more used like... Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like Check out this getting two ship. options. And <laughs> no shields at all. Yep. <laughs> Do what we call this one a target. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you one thing. The Bee Master definitely isn't your friend with this ship. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, this one, this one's got a fast firing beam, though. But it's only got four hit points left, so it shouldn't take too long to destroy. And it's gone. <laughs> well, there you go. Alright, um... You know that's what kills me? What kills ya? You know those, um... You know that, um... You know that, um... Gun that can fire the trash? Um, the junk jet. Yeah. I think we're talking now. That kills me. That oh, ends up killing flag me gun. a lot. <laughs> yeah, flag gun. Maybe I should actually aim the beam instead of at the shields. I should aim it at the uh, weapons. This one's got the staggered. Pro this one's got staggered fire. Or maybe I could aim for the um, do the triple do the triple room threat. This one, this one's basically using staggered nice. fire to um, do some damage. But it's really good. For oh, it's trying to escape, is it? Well, it's not going <laughs> to last very long without any um. <laughs> it's not gonna last very long. It... 
Maybe it will, because it's got it's got its repair drone back. Never mind, I got it, and just in time. Drone control just got hit. Well, that's the th that's the thing with this beam. I mean, they can't live for long. Once you start doing four damage per room, yeah, yeah, things tend to go bad for them. But the problem is, you got you got you got to make sure you survive that long, and every enemy ship is going to be gunning for you. And yeah, well, that's true. I don't really think I have the drone parts to um. Put a result, like I don't want to put both drones on at the same time. Or it's I, really I don't think fun I can afford to do, though. though. Mm. A drone wreck arm can do wonders, but usually I think most people get rid of one of the shield drones and get a defense drone or something. Well, I'm at a store anyway. Ooh, targeting jammer sounds good. Or a what? Targeting jammer. Disables two, uh, one to two weapons, but takes a two uh, power, never mind. Yeah. <clears throat> and I can't buy shields anyway. Could buy a clone bay or hacking. Hacking actually would be, would be a good idea. Mm, yeah, if you could take that first shield layer down, your first shot will actually be useful. That's true. Although, I have to make sure the hacking drone survives and... It's not a strain on your drone supply. Well, I could, I could get rid of the shield overcharger and the reverse ion field. Do you think I should do that? I don't know. The reverse ion field, what's like, it's like 50% uh, on Captain's 40%. Edition? 40%. Mm. Yeah, it's Captain's Edition. I mean, it can still be useful. It's up to you, though, but I think it's kind of useful. Yeah, and also I think it also adds um, blue options. It does? I think, I, think, I think it adds blue options, like if you're being attacked by an Zoltan checkpoint. By that Zoltan ship, which you know, we're in that ion field and stuff might happen. Mm. What I think happens. I don't know. Yeah, what I think happens to the um, bad guy, the um, the ion field. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. As in, how I'm gonna position the scene to hit four rooms. Oh. Because it looks like I can, but maybe I can't. I uh, think length is standard, though, so. Sh no, maybe it's 35? Yeah, I'm trying... <laughs> I think I made it 35. Yeah, which uh, means it's... It's trying to position it right on the edge and... It's not working. Never mind. Yeah, oh, so I think I've said it's 35. Mode, so, it's gonna, so it has like, um... It's got like repair drones on board. Most likely. Mm, well, you don't need to worry too much about that effector. Yeah, true enough. It's only a stunner. And also, I've deployed the drone just in case, anyway. Mm. Shield drones are quite fun to mess around with, though. Especially if you start seeing the weird stuff. Like, mm, hack parts like crashing a... into it and drone... Boarding drones crashing into it. It's like, ah, yeah. sucker. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh. The effect does actually work. The what? The effect does actually go through your Zoltan shield. Doesn't destroy your shield, but goes through it. Oh yeah, it doesn't, it's a... do it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, you know how you know, like the um adaptive, like those um light things. lasers and stuff. Yeah. Oh, they got they got a um heavy laser, and they definitely going to pull the drone for this one. Oh, the, the yeah. ion gun missed anyway. <laughs> oh, this one this one should be easy enough. It's only, um... Oh, weapons and shields yeah, weapons together? Yeah, weapons and shields are so close together. All the systems are close together. Uh -oh. The important ones, though. Oh, resisted! Ah! Yeah, the, the super shield can survive a, um, ion blast. Oh, but they have, they have, they have titanium casing. And there, there goes my shields. I'll have a depower oxygen. In the slim hopes that the, um... And they still got the FU shot off at me. <laughs> at least it's not a missile. That's the best kind. <laughs> like, you're just about to destroy them, they get one shot off at you. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, um, maybe we should discuss something that a Kid Rocks can um, join in the conversation with Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, I still need to start on the new DLC. You've just been messing around with Vault 88. Um, hang on, guys. Getting a call from, uh, Commando. Oh, great. Uh, well... Um... Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we'll continue sure. ahead. Let us know when you're done. <laughs> uh, <sighs>
He gets calls from Commando. Um, like I don't like to talk too much about him either. <laughs> <laughs> He's um just yeah. You know, sort of person you don't really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's the incident. Want just... in your life? Sometimes you get like sometimes when I don't know why some people just like to seek me out. <laughs> Uh, I think everybody attracts some weirdos. I got one of them on my own on my channel. Hmm. Okay, and there we go. The solar flare. I wonder how well the super shield protects from that. Um, not very well actually, because it's still a fire on board. Yeah, but fires are unavoidable, I mean, like in terms of taking damage from it. Uh, I think it's a little hull damage. Oh, great, we got the, Just... um, auto satellite. Uh, well, oh, I mean, and, they and, dodge, oh crap, but... the uh, drone goes through shields. The drone goes? What, what drone? It's got a fire drone. Oh yeah. Everything's on yeah. fire! Why does everything, on... everything have to be on fire? Wow. <laughs> everything! <laughs> and my drone! It does nothing! No, it does. Wow, that's some bad luck right there. Oh crap, I just realized. No, I left Ying Tai to be suffocating out there. On the bright side, the mine's gonna get oh, stopped. Oh no, 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 get out of there, Ying Tai! No! Well, the drone's down. Oh, and the, and the mine took down my shields. And the detective beam is gone. Okay, well, at least that's, um. Yeah, the detective beam is gone. <laughs> Great. This is fun. <sighs> now, mm. I have to wait. now I have to wait for him to come back online. <laughs> and now I've got to bring Kirkner to the med bay because he's pretty much about to die. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Zoltan. Just take down... Just take down all the power, will you? <laughs> That's a rule of thumb. If you're moving Zoltan around, make sure you got oh. some spare power in your reactor. Oh, by the way, when the uh, bomb actually... When a bomb does go off, if you notice the... Um, a really cool thing happens when the bomb when the bomb does actually go off. And um, if you have a Zoltan shield up, a cluster bomb is gonna is basically not go is going to ignore it. Like it's like a cluster bomb. Uh, is, is, sorry, a cluster bomb is gonna cluster three times. Yeah. Over the Zoltan shield. So in other words, yeah, it's a really good defense. Well, the drone's back, which is a bit of a problem. Yep, I deal with it again. It only set one fire. But like, as in the cluster bomb, is gonna hit the shield. Like, if you have one layer of Zoltan shield, yeah, it's actually the, the um the, the cluster bomb is actually gonna hit. It's gonna hit all three parts of the shield. Oh, rather, you know, hitting rather than hitting once and then you know channel. hitting another room. So even okay. one layer of Zoltan shield will stop a, will stop a cluster bomb. Well, I'm guessing it's because of the fuse timer. Once the second bomb gets fired, the first one didn't explode yet, so the Zoltan yeah. shield is technically still up. You know, do it three times, so that's just a thing to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, shield drone is a good defense against cluster bombs. Yeah. They're also a great defense against pulsars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the Zoltan shield only goes out. Everything goes out. Approach the station. Oh, right. Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep approaching these stations? For shits and giggles alike. <laughs> Yeah, like, I should not approach these stations because they may contain the, uh, dreaded, the, uh, dreaded, um, disease. You know, you know what it is. Yeah. You know, oh, by the way, your crew's infected with a disease and the clone bay can't do anything about it. Because it might pass on to the That's next one. That's a line. weird one, isn't it? I mean, they make it clear that clone bays work based off on DNA. Diseases are not in your DNA. What I think is happening is well. that the, um... Well, what I think is happening is that the clone bay is just doing it kind of in real time. The real time update. What, so it's... Cutting up your crew every five seconds to get a fresh sample of DNA? Pretty much. Oh dear. What's the uh, point of that? I don't know, because... DNA doesn't change it makes, unless it makes you get for easier mutated. Cloning. It makes for easier cloning if you, um, have the DNA, if you have sam fresh samples available. 
You can just freeze that for quite some time. Yeah, but you don't have a data bank. You don't have a data bank for it because um, you didn't spring for it. <laughs> yeah, but even if you have a data bank, your crew is still isn't saved from diseases. Well, that's true. Yeah, why isn't it? That should be a thing. That really should be a thing. Is that the crew should be saved from disease by using the backup DNA bank. Well, you finally scrounge enough scrap to get shields. Yeah, if I sell a drone. Now I've got to make sure the um. Now I've got to plug some leaks. <laughs> got to patch some holes F in the ship. Hmm? I've got to plug more leaks yeah. than Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another thing I don't understand. If you have a shield drone, why do you lose this ultimate shield when you jump? Um, I don't. I do. Well, if you have a Zoltan shield augment, you don't, but if you're just using a shield drone, then yeah, you do. Yeah, you lose the super shield, because I don't think I don't think the super shield can survive the jump. I think the Zoltan shield is more than just having a shield around a shield bubble. When do you get the Zoltan shield back when you jump? Is it when you arrive, or the moment you click jump? Um, so, well, we could have a look. <laughs> well, no we can, because your Zoltan shield's full. And it's constantly getting full again. Which is great. <laughs> yeah, even though the shield bubble can't go above five. I mean, why can't you have a rebel... Why can't you get the rebel version of it? That'd be, that'd be a great thing. <laughs> the flagship rebel... one. Yeah, why, why can't we get the rebel version? Why mm, rebel... Because being able to soak up ten damage every jump might be a little too powerful. But why is it the rebel ship has a... Has more Zoltan shields than a Zoltan ship. Uh oh. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. I went, went, one, of, <laughs> I went to one of those asteroid fields. Oh no. One with the asteroids that constantly hound you and, you know, destroy your shields and set everything on fire. And set yeah, the Med Bay on fire. The problem in... Oh man. <laughs> and set engines, engines on fire. Engines and piloting. And then, you know, give you a little reprieve. Before, you know, jumping on you again. In <laughs> massive numbers. But, that's okay. We got Elusive Scrapyard and Mining Freak Fleet Liberation. Okay. And there's a lot of red sectors and not very many purple. And no, two, only two green. Uh, stay away from purple as much as you can before look at it. <laughs> The top route seems to be the way to go then. Yeah, scrap yards. <laughs> Elusive scrap. I think that's going to be smog though instead of nebulas. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking as well. Yeah, it's industrial sector. Yeah. I call I call it industrial zones. And I, nah, I just get... call them smog stuff. Yeah, I call them industrial zones because that's what they are. They're full of industry. They're full of waypoint junta. Yeah, you keep you keep calling it waypoint junta. <laughs> Uh, it's a name that's made up, so I got free range of what to say, alright? Yeah, right? it's spelled like Junta. It's um, called Junta. The J is silent. Well, I'm gonna start calling it Frederick from now on. <laughs> Frederick? Waypoint Frederick. Okay, that sounds... I, th <laughs> I, th I think it's supposed to be like a, um, a play on... It's supposed to be a play on Waylon Yutani. Oh, oh no. you know what this ship... You know what this, um, you know what this rebel ship has in Sector 2? Two beams. No, two layers of shield. Well, you can get two of them, it's just gonna take you one more shot. But, but the thing is, though, is, remember, this ship is not armed, like, it hasn't got, I haven't upgraded the reactor, I haven't upgraded weapons. Yeah, so... And it's charging its FTL drive. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> it's got a mine launcher, and it's got a heavy laser. I think I'm just gonna run for it. Yeah, you probably can't take it out in time anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm. That's what I figure is it. By the time I, by the time everything's fired, oh, there goes my, there goes my shield anyway. Thanks, mine launcher. That mine launcher's an asshole. Yeah, it's like up, up. There's three hull damage just because you can. Oh, but it missed anyway. Oh, but everything about their ship missed. Everything missed. All right. <laughs> mm, power up the weapons engagement station. Hell yes. Oh, they got an ion shield. They got an ion drone. 
What did I? What did I do this? <sighs> but an ion drone is a nuisance. And they got a fire that firing laser true. and double lasers. And they got a teleporter. It seems. Yeah. And they teleported well, right an engine. That, uh... So only one way to deal with that. Only one way to deal with this kind of uh, threat. Figure out where the air vents Tank are. Tank damage. Figure out where the air vents are, and then vent out the ship. That should be fine. Oh, what? Why is my en Oh, my engines are damaged. What? Sorry, my, not my engines. The weapons are damaged. Oh man. I just realised that they attacked my weapons. And of course, they go straight after weapons with their with their intruder. I think I'm going to run for it if my engines can survive. Yeah. Oh, and they not. teleported someone else on board to attack my NG. Bastards. Rude. Oh, and I think the ship's gonna die. I think it's just gonna die right now. Yeah. Just but, oh, I'm the rude one for like attacking ever. the pirates, by the way. Oh, and they tell and they oh and they just right insult the injury, they just teleported off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> and about to die. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, I can get out of here to the store! Which, you know, I don't know how this is going to help me. What are they selling? Um, I'm going to sell the uh, second shield drone. Buy shields. And then buy the re spend the rest of my money on repairs. And then what? figure out how to get through that fire. Oh, that's right. Emergency vent protocol 23. Oh, wait. What did I do that for? Dope. <laughs> Quick, get into that shield room now. Okay, I'm venting out the entire ship except for that one room. There. Alright, now the shield room is back. And now my shields are down because Zoltan, you know how they are. Squishy! Oh no, Zoltan also put power in and they go, Oh, by the way, you left the room now, so I'm taking out all the power. Yeah. That sort of thing. <clears throat> isn't, that, isn't that bothersome? It's more bothersome when you actually lose power thanks to them. Which can only happen when you have multiple artillery systems, but you know, it can happen. And I think I'm gonna make my shields ion proof. I'm gonna put these two Zoltan in the shield room. Um, don't you still have the ion thing? Yeah, but this is, makes it even more ion proof, I suppose. Well, if you need it. I suppose getting those weapons charged faster might be more important. True. But sometimes I might want to encounter an automated ship that doesn't need to. Oh, it seems um, I've lost everyone on the stream. Oh wait, there you are. You're yeah. <laughs> this, this one's Waiting just... for broadcast to start. Yeah, this um, this the, 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 the ship I'm facing is just an automated ship. It's got a beam. It's got it's got an ion gun. That's all it has. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Then two Zoltan shields is all you need. Yeah, it's effectively immune. And I just got hit yeah. by... Oh, and for some reason the acid hit my shields anyway. Even though <laughs> this is clearly not an acid field, this is an industrial smog... This is an industrial smog zone. Yet somehow... Like, look at the colour, it's brown. Acid is green. Like, typical acid in this game is green. In the Captain's Edition is green. Yeah. This is brown. That is, this is the this is the particles that slow down your ship. <laughs> I guess um, Kid Rocks has um, moved on to has moved on. Yeah, to he's the, been off for a while. Yeah, I think he's moved on to the um, commando live to a commando stream. That's the other thing. He, guess we couldn't get along anyway. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Still gonna have to credit him though in the um, splash screen. <laughs> Still, Still gonna credit him saying he was here. I mean, come on. And then he left. Okay, this is a, this is gonna be a tricky one. Actually, no, it's not. Again, it's another beam and ion combo. Hurrah! But this, this is an, this is an auto turret with um. Yeah, th this one's an auto. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this, sorry, this one's an auto turret with um two layers of shield. But as soon as one weapon huh? goes down, as soon as one system goes down, the other will power up. Yeah, but with the weapon you have, yeah. you can pierce three shield layers, Indeed, tops. that's what I'm going to do. And besides, I hit the shields first. <clears throat> so what's the Nuka World DLC like? Uh, I still have to get it 
started. I just finished up Vault 88, I think. Oh, okay, because I haven't been done. Ha haven't finished all Far Harbor yet. I finally found the striker weapon. I was just what? roaming around on the uh, island, going after all the beacons I haven't went to, and again, hey, look, it's a bowling alley. Wow, look at the striker. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the bowling, the bowling ball launcher. I haven't actually tried it. Like I've, I've found I it. First thing I found. Tried it once, and it's a novelty weapon. It does like what, 124 damage, and I have what is it, a does standard it do little balls? sniper rifle. Like, yeah, yeah, it does. It does. But do they explode? Nope. Oh, they just, just so blocks. you can go and collect. Yeah, it's kind of like a junk jet that only takes special bowling balls. Okay, so it's useless. It's a novelty weapon, yeah. Like it, like a two-shot Merv. <laughs> Oh, great eye on the oh. door. And it's got a rebel ship in it with, an, with a flak gun. Well, I mean, that's not too bad. If you keep a drone up, you should be safe from the... Oh, no, an ion storm. That's... Ugh, I'm thinking Pulsar again. Yeah. So, it looks like I'll have to um, cut everything from me. I have to cut all my evasion off. Oh, it's one of those flak guns. So it's a three-shot three mm. flak gun. Might be worth more to send everyone to engines as long as that shoot shields up. Well, what's the thing is I want to keep my shields up anyway. Because as soon as I move off from, as soon as I move off from shields, the um thing is going to yeah. As soon as I move away from shields, it's going to and the hit oxygen. Great. I wasn't even powering it anyway. But that's. Yeah. Oh, oh, and guess what? Guess what weapon stays up as soon as I zap it. <laughs> well, weapon stays up. Flak, of course. Yep. <laughs> oh, and they repair it, and they repair it instantly. But not for long. Oh, he's trying to escape. And oh, never mind. He's pretty much going to escape now. He's charging his FTL. Bastard! Why was my engine there weapon mm. anyway? What? Why An unexpected he... error occurred while playing this video. I might feel yeah, he's jumping away. Then, he's away now. But all his weapons are down. Yeah, he got away. Great. He just, he just, yeah, just, uh... just jump away. Just jump away, you. Ugh. Just when you think everything's going to go, going to be fine, that kind of stuff happens. <laughs> That's FTL for you. FTL in that shell. Oh, you know what this yep. one is? Let's see, laser and beam. Oh, why is my beam firing? <laughs> there we go. Although, as soon as my uh, Zoltan shield goes down, it's going to use mind control. So, I could actually put on the shield drone, or the cost of my evasion. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, oh, that's right, it's got a Zoltan shield as well. On the bright side, once you get through this whole hand shield, that beam is going to do some massive damage. Yep, true enough. Just although, make sure it ends on weapons. Although my NG has um, decided to turn against me. And he's going to go after Probably weapons the... next. He's got a five year mind control. Well, you can always turn off auction and send the Zoltan after him. Mm hmm, could do that. But then again, I've got the adaptive beam ready to fire again. Oh, no you don't! <laughs> they didn't escape. Oh, now, I can, now I'm putting more power in. Finally. <laughs> I'm finally upgrading that reactor, okay? Build that reactor! Oh. What? <sighs> that ship is rude. It's an automated ship, and it just damned our weapons. It what? It jammed I'll my weapon. I'll see it in a minute. It's an automatic oh. ship. It put a weapons jammer in. Oh, that's stupid. Why did I play Captain's Edition? <laughs> yeah. Why do we? I mean, look at what I'm doing right now. It's a random mod overall as well. Either it's vanilla, SMPK, Captain's Edition, or SMPK plus the other one. <laughs> oh, and also, <laughs> also the asshole has mind control. And he ran out of missiles. And he hit drone control with it. Ugh, of course it would. And of course now, now because of um, now my Zoltan never been mind controlled. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Please. Well, at least he's still providing power. 
Oh, it's a landing of ship, and it's got mind control as well. Uh. But at least, um, on the bright side, though, <laughs> it's at least it's, um, <laughs> as long as I keep my shields up, well, actually, no, then mm. it's, gonna, it's going to deploy the, um, oh, yeah, thanks, gang, thanks, game. Just, yeah, just take down my shields because Zoltan's moved out of it. That always works, you know? Oh. Oh, power. Rule of thumb, if you're moving Zoltans, keep spare reactor power. So I'm doing. This time I'm taking power out of engines. Not like I need engines. Yeah, I mean, dodging's for wimps anyway, right? Yep. And, of course, my NG has decided to destroy the, um, piloting again. Why do I keep the system operational? <laughs> Mon shields, yes! Oh! Yeah, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see in, a, in when it comes up. The beam's just about to fire and the shields... My shields come right back up, just about as the beam's about to fire. <laughs> I mean, yay! Yeah. Sometimes one does get lucky. <clears throat> oh, I could return to that automated ship now with mind control. Why the would you? The weapons won't be jammed. Yeah, but why would you? I mean, it's well, fucking AI I, ship. I can... It's... Well, it's got the matter. time for Look it anyway. It. Look at that sucker. Well, yeah, and you got the time. Yeah. And it's got no missiles either. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's yeah. weird. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. You, you used the missiles would in the be... first encounter. But it counts. Huh. Yeah, it does. The only thing it doesn't count on is the flagship. If you jump away from the flagship, it comes back with full health. I think it's the only Even thing the health that one stays is that... the same. Wow. No, the, flag the flagship always comes back with full health and full system repairs. Yeah, uh, but um, ships like this, if you damage them and go away and then come back, will they not be at full health? Yeah, the damage will be the damage and stuff will still remain, but all the systems will be repaired huh. and all their crew will be fully healed. Even if they don't have a med bay. Indeed. Uh, ah, fine prey, fine prey. We honor you with our most eviscerating arsenal. He sends the clouds uh, to oops, the silver lining and power the weapons. <laughs> uh, the mantis voice. I like it. <laughs> I've noticed. Yeah. Although, the problem with the mantis voice, I think I've said it many times, is um, trying to maintain Rex the... Um, trying to... Well, not the throat, actually. It's the fact that I focus too much on the voice and not the um, dialogue. So, all I can say is... So you're glorious basically and... spitting out gibberish. Well, that's the thing here. Yeah. It's most, mostly just shout glorious combat and the prey. I, I, I need to think of some kind of some kind of unique banter, but for a mantis. And they teleport a mantis on board against a mantis. So now the question is, do I get to move my pilot off? <laughs> move the pilot out, and I vent out, and I vent out a room. Okay, now vent out piloting. Hopefully, before the mantis um, destroys it. Chances are he won't. He, this won't happen. Yeah, he just. Yeah, that mantis is going to remain on board for a bit. But that's okay. I'll just keep venting out rooms until he's dead. Well, as long as he doesn't take out weapons, you should be fine. Well, that's all right. The ship's gone, so I have all the time. I have all the time in the world to deal with the boarding the borders. Uh, let's hope you get a weapon up soon. Oh, weapon upgrade? Yeah, might as well. Well, something to power with it as well. I mean, the beam will eventually get through most ships, but... A, a pre-igniter wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad. No, it wouldn't, but, you know. Well, it's, it would shave 15 seconds off the, um, off the timer. Sure, but, I mean, once... You get in the late game, that beam on its own isn't going to cut it anymore unless you find hacking to go well, along with it. Well, the flagship, you can defeat the flagship with it. Mm, no, you can't. Well, it's it only does four damage. I mean, how are you going to get through the four shield layers? Oh, oh, oh I thought it did five. Uh, never mind. I'm up on Unicorn or to click to click to car's stake. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> figure it out. I mean, 
you need a lot of stuff, so the civilian sector seems like the way to go. You need those stores, you need a weapon, you need... It could be NG as well, Zoltan. but it doesn't... Oh, crap. <laughs> really? It's a Zoltan sector? Oh, the Zoltan's asking my favorite color. It's yellow. <laughs> What's yours? Blurple. Blurple? It's a made-up It's a made up color. Mm. Oh, I've got a whole missile mark one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, I'm selling If you it. can get it up, you can at least take a shot of shields. Oh. I mean, you got 18 missiles. Zoltan quest. That's not the Zoltan shield quest, but I got the Zoltan quest to get more Zoltan. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, monastery? Yeah, the monastery. Oh, can buy an AI avatar for 30 scrap. Yep, that one's going away. Mm. I'm, I'm buying Olaf. And then, of course, he's going to get, get traded away. <laughs> Like he's gonna he's gonna disappear. Yeah, then again you only pay at that so point you I basically paid thirty, paid for, two 30 for two Zoltan. Yeah. I mean, oh. I jumped with the debris field. I commander ship over the wide and Zol Zipomag Zoltan. Oh, they let's let me go. I should have fought them. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Two Zoltan quests. And I should have bought fuel back at the uh, at the shop. Oh, the NG's gone. <laughs> I just lost the NG. In exchange for Permuk and Kazmir. That's okay, now I have excess power for the Zoltan shield, for the, for the drone. Woo! Yay! And I enter a nebula, and it's a rebel ship of five year cloak, and a missile launcher. It's a of kitchen sink of It's a kitchen sink of um, enemy ships. <laughs> it's got everything. It's got, every, it's got everything to piss you off. Ugh. That. Yeah. Oh, and, hit, uh, and of course, yeah. it's oxygen. <laughs> Naturally, and hits, hits stuff you don't want to get hit. And has a missile launcher, and it cloaks again. Hey, at least you resisted the iron damage to engines. Yep, and at yeah. least I'm missing the, um... At least... It's not dodging the missiles, though. Oh, what am I... Adaptive beam! Go! Quickly, before it... Let's see what else is there. Nope. <laughs> I'm staying for the long run. I mean, if I die here, then, you know, the run's over pretty much, but... Eh. Yeah. That's just that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, but they're out of missiles. And the missile hit the stuff, hit the thing I wanted it to hit. Weapons. No, as in, it actually hit... It hit... The missile hit the Zoltan shield. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lucky move. Yep, and now their weapons are gone, essentially. They've got, okay, they've got two shots left, but... Hopefully... They won't be able to utilize it to their fullest advantage. Because they're dead. Whee! And of course, I, think, I don't think I've got any fuel from it. Why would I? I mean, it... Oh, yeah, them out. why I'll would them you? Out. And i got a quest marker. Oh! You could get an envoy. Or whatever hey. he's called. Yeah, that'd be great. Attempt to hail. Reconciliation, true progress. Burst get a laser mark one. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> you immediately see me rush going. straight to buying weapons and stuff. <laughs> buying stuff to power it. Immediately. Yeah. That's that, that is that is good. That is a good weapon to have. Yeah, that that's big. Yep, although now I have no fuel left. And of course I'm gonna oh, counter. That's... Oh, and they offer me missiles and drones in exchange for a reactor upgrade. That's nice. I want one. Stress beacon on. Rebel ship, right? Mm, five fuel for 20 scrap. I request emergency fuel, thanks. Battle remains at 19, 10, whatever. You ever came across that guy twice? <laughs> yes, actually. Yeah? Can you request emergency fuel again? Yep. And it works. Yeah, it does. It, it always gives you emergency fuel. <laughs> I mean, you can attack the ship, though. I'm quite about the process. Mmm. Selenia Sector. Distraction Boys. boys. I don't want Distraction Boys. <laughs> they're, the, they're, the, they're like the worst boy band since... Well, they're not as good as Foolish Meat Sacks. 
Yeah, well. I'll try and contact landing a ship. So, distraction boys now give you three more sectors. Oh, great. Oh, great. The, um... Oh, it's a, it's a plant of pirates. <laughs> and they're charging their FTL. Well, yeah, that's because you're out of fuel. That makes sense. Yeah, but I... I I mean, I could say, hey, uh, I, I, I was not going to accept their approach, but I'm that desperate now. So let's get a go! Oh, and it works! This it is probably going to be make or break. Either you get fuel from this or you're dead. Yeah. It's pretty much, it's pretty much spelling it out to you. Don't run out of fuel. At least the missile You're is, probably um, better off to just hit as many systems as you can to prevent them from going to that piloting. Uh, why did I do that for the... Should have fired the burst scatter. Hmm, true enough, I should have hit as many systems as possible. Alright, here we go, hit him again. But you get more time, actually, if you, um... Like, if you're out of fuel, you get more time to destroy the enemy ship. Come on, yeah! Oh, huh. the missile missed anyway. Oh, and they teleported it on board. Oh, they're not moving this slug out of the, um, drone control. You can vent it, I mean... Well, no, they got, they got a Lanius. There's a door right there. Yeah, oh, they, yeah, they, right. they got a Lanius on board, so they're not moving yeah. out. Yeah! Uh, they're giving me fuel in exchange for stuff. You might want to take that. You need every ounce of fuel you can get. Yep. And they destroyed my shield. They destroyed a, um... They destroyed the uh, drone control anyway. One part of it. I mean, if I was gonna, I could have done the Zoltan negotiations, but I wouldn't um, get any fuel from it. Cause Zoltan. Hmm. Zoltan. Zoltan fuel. Hmm. Hey, you can always try to go for the pacifist ending. Yeah, probably not. No, I don't think I can manage that. I don't have, I don't have good enough shields. I don't even think I have Flowey. <laughs> You need, as far as I know, full shields, full engines, full upgraded medbay, a human, and a slug. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. They got an artillery. Mm, what ship is it? Um, it's an automated ship, got two layers of shield, and uh, 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 it just smashed through everything. Hmm? It just uses ion gun and smashed through my through my shields, and it's firing the artillery yeah. again, and it's smacked right through again. That's the problem, the artillery has one shield piercing to it. Yeah. And of course, it's cloaking. It's got a five-year cloak. But, they're doing, they're, well, they're doing, they're doing an alpha strike on it. It could be worse. It's not a uh, hull crusher. True. Right, at least the uh, laser. Oh, the artillery went down anyway. <laughs> when I zapped up the laser. Hmm. So yeah, the, so anyway, back to uh, so so you haven't got Nuka World working. Uh it's it's working. I just haven't played it yet. Ah, uh, right. I haven't started on it either. The um, I, I've got this uh, gorse. Like I've, I think I mentioned my uh, gorse gun. Of awesome. Uh... You might have, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, I'm it's currently not, just like, running it's, around. It's not the most overpowered weapon out there. Okay, ask questions <clears> about bears. Ask me about bears. <laughs> I think my strongest weapon is 430-ish. A pop. And yeah, um, I recently one-shotted a Myler Queen with it. Ah, whoa. Now, does the distraction boy still distract delay rebels one jump? It would, wouldn't it tell me if it delays the several jumps? Did sleeper change it? Uh, does it give you the number? Oh, there's a uh, light defense drone in there. Ooh. Loads in six seconds, though. Mark one. <laughs> yeah, but it only targets missiles, and there aren't too many missile launchers that fire faster in six seconds. True. That's actually a good point. I tend to look at those ones. I tend to turn my nose up at them. At buying, actually, in buying drones. It's only thirty scrap, and I mean it's missile defense. Well, the more defense you have, the longer your super shield stays up. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the um, I'm getting rid of the distraction boys. 
<laughs> Boys! <laughs> yeah, don't want them. Don't want them on my ship. <laughs> it's not like, um... I've played this uh, game called Infinite Space. And you can actually get a pair of musicians uh... on your ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already got a band name for them. Well, a, a pair of musicians, they count as one person. But they, um... They, uh, they improve the morale of your ship altogether. And they can also do... They can also do a job. So, you know, they're not that bad to have on the ship. So it's a one-man band. That's amazing. No, it's two people. They're, they're twins. But uh, actually, you're putting, you're putting, oh, two, you're putting two... You're putting two singer children on your ship. Yes, they're children, because they, man they okay. hate their manager so much. Their manager is so mean! <laughs> and then the, um... And then... You can, you can reject them saying no, don't, don't, you can't come on board our ship, it's not a place for children, we get into space battles and stuff and people die! But they're like, nah, we don't wait, so they run away. So mean. <laughs> Man, you're so mean so they can't board your ship and the first thing you can do is get a job! Well, no, they steal, Child they, labor. They, 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 they get aboard your ship. <laughs> yeah, now you put them to work. Yeah, Child you labor. Work. You put them to work in the kitchen or something. <laughs> Got those damned potatoes. Actually, I don't know, I don't know what and I'm And play the loot while you're at it. Oh, Kid Rock's back. <laughs> Watching the broadcast, not sure if he's actually on TeamSpeak. Is he on TeamSpeak? Uh, no, we should have heard that. Oh, okay. You can still jump in, that's the beauty of TeamSpeak. Yeah, I'm gonna thread the needle here. What's well, the thing is that, um... That's... I, didn't, I don't think I heard you disconnect it from your channel either. Yeah, I've heard it. Now, Light Defense Drone, run help me against asteroids. Uh, yeah, it will, but I mean, one asteroid every six seconds isn't all that amazing. Yeah, that's what I thought, figured. Unless you're Go flying on, the... Oh, what was that thing called again? I'm gonna look that up. Recently f flown a ship, and it was the most hateful experience I've ever had. Can't be one of mine. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the Argo. That's the, the Argo? It's like... I think he commented on it, but I'm not too sure. It's like a real boat. Oh, uh, okay. Well, when I say what's the Argo, you're supposed to say it's an Theseus ship? Yeah, that one, whatever. <laughs> I did the a Argo run with is... it, and... Uh, you know what the biggest threat of that ship was? Frickin' asteroid fields. Oh, hey, Kid Rock is here. Hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Yeah, hello. What's the biggest threat of, that, of the Argo? Asteroid fields. Ah, uh, because it had no shields? It had shields. Uh. The problem is the shields were so freaking big that the entire front half wasn't detected by the shield and asteroid just flows straight through it. Oh, so you can have shields so big that... They, it, they don't work. Okay. Yeah, so what's, what happened, Kid Rocks? <laughs> um, Commando is left. Oh. Okay. Don't know if you'll be back or not, so in the meantime, I'm gonna hang out with you guys. Okay. Yay. Yay. Nebula Terras <clears throat> or the Inner Mines? Ugh, stay away from Nebulas. Yeah, and the Inner Mines, though, sounds like a rock sector. Wouldn't that well, be. You got a defense drone. That's true. Socialize with the Zoltan. Yes, even though I've got the Zoltan event, I'm still socializing with the Zoltan. So maybe I can get some more. I mean... It's a random chance. Indeed. Well, at least you'll get one extra Zoltan. Oh, right. So, this this is a rock pirate ship. It's got three shield layers. No missiles. It's a flak gun and a hull crusher. Uh. Question is, which drone do I deploy? <clears throat> shield drone, I'm guessing. Even one bubble of super shield will stop. The Hulk Crusher. That's true. Shield drone up, and the flak. <laughs> wow, everyone's evasion is actually. The evasion of everyone's pretty damn good. Like 32%. And there goes the flak. There we go. Evasion's at max. That's pretty much what happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just need to dodge one shot and you should be fine. Yep. So, yeah, a lot, a lot happened um, in between. Kid Rocks, the um, stuff happened. Ships, ships, ships escaped, ships exploded. Oh, and they're going to a, um, 
They're going to activate the backup thrusters and they're going into an asteroid field. Which means mm. they're going to die. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you got the upper hand since your weapon's f as good as charged. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna pound on my burst scatter and. Oh, there goes my. Uh, my weapon burst went scatter. Down for a second. <laughs> well, one right. shot from the burst scatter is all you need. Well, there we go, and I got an AP drone out of it. Whoop de doo. Yeah, you know, all I need is a drone recovery arm. Getting one of those would be amazing. I think that's what happened on my end. I got a drone wreck on the I got just... a Leviathan defense battery. And then, well, well, the, but I had to deploy a drone for it. So I deployed a drone and for some reason I'm flown to an asteroid field to deploy my drone. I used and to get a hit. In the engines. <laughs> and the <clears> fire. <throat> I mentioned this game called Fallout Shelter. Is that a mobile game? Yeah, pretty much. Besides, yeah. uh, besides Rad Scorpion siphoning all your power away and uh, causing all, all ends of frustration, the other problem, the other uh, threat in that game is uh, fires. I take forever to extinguish. I never dabble around with it. It seems like something you have to be constantly working with. I'm like, yeah, I can't be bothered. It doesn't work. It, like, you don't, you don't have to play it online all the time. That's why I'm still playing it. No, I don't mean that. But it's like. Yes, in five hours, this will be complete. Okay, fine, I'll just not yep. play the game for five more hours. Yeah. You don't have to um, play it. Oh, great, this one's got four layers of shield. And it's got one of those um, system damaging ion guns. Mm, well, at least it can't dodge. Well, it's got, a, it's got a mine launcher. So let's see if I hit Yeah, one of them probably being a invisible one. Oh right, I should, should fire the laser. I should be preparing the lasers. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks, uh, defense drone. You're the best. <laughs> completely ignored it. Yep. Pretty much. It completely ignored my, um, completely, completely ignored everything. Well, I don't think it charges if it's offline, so... Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. No, I don't think it does. Okay. Oh, at least... Uh, oh, and there we go. Here's the damage. There comes the damage. Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> yeah. Well, at least the um, shield layer's not gonna be damaged too much. I mean, you don't really need shields anyway. Ow. It's true. Oh, Might be worth really, really keep fast. the fans drone up. Yeah, I'd say just keep the fans drone up. If yeah. your shields go down, eh, who the hell gives a crap? Yeah. As long as you can shoot down the mines, <clears throat> you should be in a good spot. Yeah, their shields recharge really, really fast. They probably have like six. Yeah, they've probably got like seven of them. Okay, you're gonna get three at a time. And yeah, so. I like, I like the uh, gimmick of the gavel. I should discuss that, shouldn't I? <laughs> you know, talk about the ship yes. itself that, we're fly that I'm flying. <laughs> I generally do that at the end. Oh, okay. Depends yeah, on how the run goes. So, so far, the beam, the beam's working. It's... <laughs> I mean... Yeah, it's a nice thing. <laughs> Gotta keep the beam steady. I like the weapon because... It's a great thing late game as well, but it doesn't screw you over in the early game. Like the glaive beam? <clears throat> or does that screw you over? Uh, the glaive beam would, I suppose, screw you over, but... The way they used it means you don't, if you get what I mean. I mean, the cloaking that you get makes it so you can usually get a shot from the glaive beam off, which will be all you need early game, but... This one only takes three power, which means getting a second weapon up is a bit cheaper than doing the same thing with a glaive beam. Okay. So it doesn't screw as much over you as much as. Yeah. Mm. Now, notice about this minefield. They um, like the minefield kind of doesn't actually work without a mine layer ship. <laughs> <laughs> as in, you need the mine okay. layer ship. To make the minefield work because it's a dummy weapon. Ah. 
Oh, you, did you see that mine? It's like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's slowly drifted past the shield and the defense drone's like, uh, what should I do? What should I do? Ah, never mind, I'll shoot at it. <laughs> yeah, maybe Might I should shoot well at it. Might as pretend I'm doing something. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't just, it's like, it's pretend, it's... Hmm, maybe I should do something about that. Yeah, maybe, maybe the uh, master would then be happy with me. <laughs> Boom! Maybe that defense drone is really, really zippy. Yeah, maybe I wonder so, what um... the idea with that is. Oh, stasis pod, or grab the stasis, take the weapon, yeah. Oh, come on, Rolstana. Yeah, I could have gone for the, um, I don't think I'll get the crystal. Chances are I won't get the crystal, because I've just missed all the sectors for it. There's no more green sectors. Yay. Well, a neural stunner isn't all that bad. I suppose you could use it to stun the pilot and get the evasion off still. That's actually a good idea. Tell fodder. I was like, I was gonna say vendor trash. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Same thing. Vendor trash, essentially. Yeah. I'm gonna put stuff to level 2, put that to level 3. Yeah, remember there's a term for a lot of things. Oh, here we go, black holes. I hate these things. Yeah, you just lose scrap, fleet ad uh, use fuel, and they, and they fleet, fleet advances. advances, and uh, And it's very, it is very bright. <laughs> I mean, look at that, I, I can barely see what weapons I have. Yes, I know what weapons I have. <sighs> yeah, I can see, I can see what weapons I have. It's that weapon. Oh yeah, thanks, defense drone. Thanks, man. You're the best defense drone ever. We'll keep in touch, defense drone. Touch base. At your job. Oh, and you missed yes. the mine anyway. It's probably actually probably fired too. Yeah, probably fired too in that missile. Oh, I haven't seen a rock fight in ages. Yeah. You know how rocks fight? Very nope. clumsily. It's been a long time since I've it's been a while since I've actually come across a rock ship. Yeah. This is the first in a while. Well, I am in a rock sector. Oh, they're out of missiles. Yeah. Then you actually didn't get hit by too many of them. Yeah, well, there goes a mine. Just one damage, of course. And let's fire the adaptive beam one more time. You're dead. And I think I can thread the needle one more. <laughs> Although, probably. Just get the pursuit indicator, it's what I do. You That's get the thing. I, I, um, I don't use those kinds of systems. Maybe I should, though. Hmm. That bounty can be vital. Should I hand over a crew member to get a reverse ion field and 59 scrap? Don't you already have one of those? Yeah, but 80%, man! No, of course not. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> You think then again, if you have two of them, it's 80%. That's what I mean. If it was the, um, not Captain's Edition. That's what I'm gonna call it. Not Captain's Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, their evasion has been shot. And their artillery beam is gone. I'm gonna deploy a shield drone. Uh, the artillery weapons. Love to hate them, but to miss more often than not for me. I mean, I mean, you've seen a, you've seen um, you, you, I think in one of your videos you had an artillery weapon and you it was kind of like your bread and butter. Hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, you used it a lot because it was the only weapon you had, but at the same time it was like one of the best weapons you had. It was like the best. Aha! Everyone's mm. stunned. Everybody must get stunned. <laughs> Oh great! I should have I should have taken their surrender. Oh, Kapelzix, Kapelzix territory. This will be fun. <laughs> you know why? We've got Mantis! <laughs> Can't you save him with upgraded sensors? Well, I don't know. It's, it's not Kazakh Click. 
We control this sector now. All Federation sympathizers will be executed by Blade. Prepare to die. You know, you know, from time to time you get a civilian ship stuck in rocks. Yeah, I just, I just shoot, shoot at them. Yeah, you get <laughs> better that way. You either get yeah. into a fight or yeah, you, either you get, get stuff. Or... Yeah, you get stuff or you get into a fight. Oh, and they teleport an NG on board to fight oh, my. No. I've literally freed them and killed them at the same time. That's true. You mainly spread their ashes as well. Oh, but the um... Oh, my shield drone has got shot. Oh, and there's, well, there's there a teleport man on board anyway. Well, keep in mind you can use the neural stunner on your own ship if need no, be. No, I can't. Yes, you can. It's a bomb weapon. I can't. It's a type stun gun, area effect aiming. I'm doing it right now. I'll put my cursor over the ship. I can't aim anywhere. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. That's weird. It's weird. Why is the game being weird? Maybe it's... A flak bomb? Yeah, maybe it is a flak. Uh, it's instantly. It's an instant flak. Oh, great. They're gonna but it goes they're through they're gonna shield, hit, they're gonna, so... They're going to hit my, um... They're going to hit my weapons. They're going to destroy weapons. Maybe it will be time to start looking into getting hacking up. Maybe I should. And they just, ox and they just hit oxygen. Which is why I started using limited time offer as well. Come on, don't- Oh no, they just destroyed the weapons. But at least they're something. Well, you can vent. Well, as I'm doing right now, I couldn't vent before because yeah. my doors were down. Like, I had no doors. Um... We're a bit behind, but you can always still use the Leviath. Leviathan? If the weapons are being a threat, yeah. True. Could do that. All I have right now is an Ion Bomb. Okay, they can actually reclone their troops, though. Then let's have a Shield Drone. Which probably is not going to help uh, very much. Yeah, you got to be able to keep it up. Oh, and they still teleport a Mantis on board anyway. Nah, the brute stations are indeed a bit of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh, at least I can repair weapons without the um, suffocation, without the threat of suffocation. That's true, but... Because, um, yeah, that thing happens. <laughs> at least the ion bombs aren't hitting anything useful. Well, now they're, they're out of them. Even better. Yeah. Now I've just got to figure out how to, um... Get everything back online. Now I just get the adaptive beam going I mean, again. They're going to get back online very shortly. And they're going to teleport a Mantis on board once they figure out... Which... I don't know why they're not doing it. I don't know why. They're not, like... They, they can do it. They can send their Mantis on board right now, but they're not doing it. I think they're waiting for more to send over. But they're not sending more <clears> over. <throat> they have their Zoltan shield up. For some reason, I think I think the Zoltan shield has broken their AI. I think my neural stunner, Could the be. neural stunner has broken their AI. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I've seen crew get stuck in doors before, though. I never know what does that. Hmm. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... Actually, now I can just shuffle them around like that. Just shuffle the crew around for a second. Yay, weapons are back, and... Stuff is happening. One more! And this brood station's gone! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, do you think I should cut the video here and, like, um, you know, then start up another one? That's your choice. Yeah, because it looks like it's going over an hour. Alright, so, um... I think, I'll cut, I think I'll cut the video here, and then I'll come back, um, hopefully not dead. Alright, so I've been Styles RJ. And... Oh, uh, but you should say if it's up I've been, to say something. I think it rocks. And I'm by Azure uh, 63. Alright, and um, we'll, we'll start another session. See you later. Signing off. Noise.